A.J. Williams. Look, Fred! Thomas, 63 of his 83 shots this year are three-pointers. LaFrench, almost impossible to stop down there. You've got me convinced. But, I mean, that, that's your natural tendency. You're out there on the floor, and the shot goes up. Everyone turns their head and goes towards the ball. LaFrench adjusts his shot again. They do. LaFrench with a little head fake and then throws it down. Here's rebound. Here's. Good recovery by LaFrench. Seven points for Hall. It's only about a three-second spread. LaFrench has been moved. Comes right back to him. Two experienced seniors who worked together for so long. LaFrench, pardon me, a junior. In the corner is Ryan Robertson. I think now and then the Jayhawks are going to take a shot from outside to keep the defense uh, honest. Oklahoma State style. Great eye contact between the friends. Scoring while you fellas walk the dog. Three point lead for Kansas. Make it five. LaFrentz drives against Collins. Bounce pass inside. Fade away by LaFrenz is good. Rafe LaFrenz hits the bucket. Looks like he walked with the ball. Hass gets it inside to Ostertag. Ostertag shoots an air ball, but LaFrenz gets it and puts it back in. And all of a sudden, we've got a 33-28 game, a five-point Cowboy lead. Left in the game. Vaughn inbounds to LaFrenz, goes right up and lays it in off the glass. He's a big target, and they don't, they're not shy about going to him on that inbounds pass. The way it pushes it up the court. LaFrenz. Pass has been very quiet, Jim. So has LaFrenz. Right now. <laughs> Knight screaming at Manderville to get down in the lane. Got to find ways to get open underneath since they've shut off that outside jump. LaFrance, wow, some good work. Here he is in a low post. His first field goal attempt of the night. Down six. They lob it again. LaFrance this time lays it in. Robertson, three-pointer, in and out, but LaFrance right there. That was a track meet. Vaughn, LaFrance tips it in, it's down to six. And again, the timeout by Kansas, a 20. How about the effort by Pierce and LaFrance on those two plays? Simon has made it a two-point game. LaFrance got nice position straight up with it. Oh, great post position right there. With Bob Lee on ESPN. What a magnificent job Bob Lee does with that program. Gregory who just checked in, misses. Oh, LaFrance oh. does it. Hello, Mr. LaFrance says, I want to show the nation I'm an old Sir. Kansas by a deuce. We're under eight and a half minutes. Oh, he's got the friends. Great entry right there. Perfect execution. Gregory packs it down low. Double team on LaFrance. He still works for a jumper and got it. He's got that sweet velvet tongue. On that full court pressure. It seemed to phase Kansas. Pierce. Nice he's low to LaFrance. I'll tell you, so unselfish. The two love playing together. What a tandem they are. And there's the hug. The friend said, why should I leave school? He said, like Jock Moore said, you can't buy your years of happiness. And I have a great, great deal of happiness on that Kansas campus. And I know he makes Roy Williams very happy as well. <laughs> That's right. There he is with that left hand, kissing it on a glass. Got another rebound. Seven boards. Thomas four. is going to go to Thomas. Ooh. Gave it back. Gave it back. It's a great look. Wow, to the trailer. There he is, he kicks it out. Now here comes the trailer, right down the lane. And there's the trailer, LaFrance, right down the gut of the defense. Secondary phase of the running game. The primary phase is the wing jump shot. The secondary phase is the trail man. Good job handling the pressure. McGrath did a super job. Pierce. Foul! Oh, oh, that's awesome, baby, with a capital A! Rafe LaFrance has put on a show. City. All 
almost came up with a steal. LaFrance will lay it in. I'll tell you, the great players make great plays. Bibby made the last great play, and here comes LaFrance right back down on the other end. Rafe LaFrance has 28 points. Wise move by Thomas. He was wide open, and he's been feeling it tonight, but he knew better. Good basketball IQ right there by Thomas. LaFrance has yes, third. Sir, that's even better basketball IQ. Bring it to the PT Fear. Pierce and feeds it back. LaFrance will score. I want to tell you why LaFrance failed Pierce out on that one, because he had nowhere to go with that basketball. He was going to walk. You're right. Pierce inside here. He looks back and sees LaFrance running the floor, catching and laying it off the window. How many times has he done that in the last four years? Filling that lane. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Robertson for three. Not there. LaFrenz on the foul. And he was fouled. Take a look again on the miss by Ryan Robertson. Watch Rafe LaFrenz on the other side follow this up. He does such a great job with his offensive rebounding. And you saw that, saw that shot of his dad up there. You have to wonder if it is a habitual thing. Great move by Thomas on the baseline. How about the feed by LaFrance? Hugh working inside on the freshman Humphrey. Nice move to the hoop. Missed the short jumper. LaFrance there with the foul. You know, maybe that's another reason. We said we were surprised when Johnson came back in the game. As you look at the pass inside, and LaFrance opens up the scoring. Maybe that's the reason Kelvin put him back in the lineup. Maybe he found out there was a mistake. Yeah. And they'd taken one foul away. Well, there's that double screen. And the big men screening for one another. Now it's Ryan Robertson over to Billy in the corner. Rafe LaFrenz, two points. Jayhawk leading by six points. Now Rafe LaFrenz inside. Very two-man game. Ryan Robertson off to Philly, and now Ray. Watch Ray, he'll go to work here. Working on Decker. Wow. Now Billy Thomas. Go right back to Ray. That time he goes again. to the left. Going to work. Jayhawks lead 30 to 21. Just under four minutes to play here in the first half. Ray with friends working it on the baseline. Wow, that's a tough shot. Paul Pierce with it. Now C.B. McGrath inside to Lester. Turnaround shot. Doesn't go. Break the rebound. Rafe went right over Billy Thomas that time. Now Rafe has got 20. Fieldhouse where the Jayhawks are so dominant. There's the turnaround from the LaFrance. Last week we saw him start out cold at Missouri. Records are centers who shoot a lot of jump hooks, a lot of things like that. Hey, how about LaFrance? He brought down the chandelier. Six for Rafe, off the Jock Vaughn drive. Jock is dribbling away from the double team. Alley -oop. It's Rafe LaFrance. He has eight. Yeah, Rovers tried to hedge, and Vaughn kept playing him and dragging him along. And this season, he really just lit people up. And he's done that lately. Comes off a lot of picks. When he gets it off, he's pretty good. LaFrance, the double pump. Well, Kansas averages six blocks a game. I think they're looking for him. Kansas really not going for the blocks right now. LaFrance wide open. Good ball movement. LaFrance, one out of seven, two points. And Rovers got nine points. Fall away. That's a tough shot from the baseline, and nobody does it better than him. You know, these crowds are good. They really help you play tough defense. I don't think it hurts an opposing team. But France gets it to go. He can be spectacular. But France on Montanati. Ah, that was, that was a nice pass, too, to France. The France and Billy Thomas as the France takes it in. And do they count it? Yes, sir. Again, yes, they do. They count it. When Kansas needed strong half-court execution, they got it. LaFrance, I think he came off of a pew screen. There it is. Boom. And look right there. Weber's got to jump out a little bit sooner and try to prevent the ball from getting down low to LaFrance. LaFrance, and in. Hey, the All-Americans starting to take <laughs> over here in the second half. The opening tip is controlled to Kansas. Pierce, the alley-oop to LaFrance. Notice how far Pratt plays off LaFrance on the inside. And LaFrance is a guy who can obviously hit the shot from that point. It's a shot that you got to convert. Pass. Leaves it for LaFrance. 